Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Todd and welcome to this week's episode of The Miller Method. Today we are going to talk about the combination of resistance training and cardio and how these two things when put together can be optimal for fat loss in my opinion. Uh, one thing we need to keep in mind is that aerobic exercise burns more calories during the actual activity than weight training does. So I just went online and I typed my information into some calculators and about 30 minutes of vigorous weightlifting burns around 250 calories according to these calculators. 30 minutes of vigorous running burns about 485 calories. So it's pretty clear that during the actual activity aerobic exercise burns more than resistance training. However, if you remember last time we said that resistance training has the potential to elevate the metabolism so that you burn more calories throughout the day um, than if you just rested and didn't do resistance training at all. So what I have here is I've plotted out uh, how I think resistance training can be used over the course of a week in order to maximize fat loss and how aerobic exercise can be sort of thrown in there um, to help with that. So here on the y-axis we have resting metabolic rate and remember we said that resting metabolic rate is about 80 calories per hour and if somebody does a heavy resistance training like we have here this block represents a heavy resistance training workout that increases can increase resting metabolic rate by about 20 percent and that 20% increase leads to a, a resting metabolic rate of about 96 calories. And that lasts for about 48 hours, up to 48 hours. So if we then do that resistance training workout again here on Wednesday morning, we have an, another elevation in metabolism that lasts for another 48 hours. Friday morning we do the same resistance training workout over again. We elevate metabolism again. So essentially what we've done is we burn 250 calories during the actual weight training session but that increases our resting metabolic rate for 48 hours and that 48 hour increase results in additional caloric burn of 768 calories so the 20 percent increase over 80 is 96 16 calories times 48 hours so if we if we add that to the session our total caloric burn from that resistance training session is 1,018 calories. And if we do that three times a week, that means 1,018 calories times three uh, times a week is 3,054 calories from resistance training over the course of the week. Now let's say on Tuesdays and Thursdays we throw in a aerobic workout. And let's say that aerobic workout burns 485 calories. So on Tuesday we burn 485 calories. On Thursday we burn another 485 calories. These two workouts combined, 485 times 2 gives us 970 calories. If we add that to the 3,000 that we burn from the weight training, we end up with 4,024 calories as our total burn over the course of that week. And remember, 3,500 calories represents one pound of fat. So here we see that we have a significant elevation in caloric burn as the result of this type of training. Now what you might ask is, well, why don't I just do an hour of cardio every day? If I can burn 485 calories in a half hour, what if I did an hour's worth of cardio, I'd burn almost a thousand calories, if not more, and if I did that Monday through Saturday or Monday through Friday, I'd burn 5,000 calories, which is clearly more than this. So next time what we're going to talk about is what happens, how the body adapts differently to cardiovascular exercise as opposed to a combination of weight training and cardio. Because what you look like after only doing cardio long term is very different from what your body's going to look like if you do a combination of aerobic exercise and resistance training. So if you're a woman especially, you really should pay attention to our next episode because we are going to put up pictures of people who do exclusively cardio versus people who do resistance training and cardio and show how cardiovascular exercise by itself may not result in um, a look that you necessarily want. So you really shouldn't be afraid of resistance training and our next few episodes are going to focus on why women in particular should spend a lot of time concentrating on resistance training and maybe back off on the cardio a little bit. Thanks.